Dover police have made two arrests in connection with that shooting uh, that took the life of a teenager who was visiting Delaware State University last month. Our Greg Payne was at the Dover Police Department and has the latest on the investigation. The family of Kame De Silva arriving at the Dover Police Department Monday morning, awaiting an announcement they've been wanting to hear. Kame's family has been in our thoughts from the moment the senseless act of violence occurred and our hope is that these apprehensions can help begin the process of healing. Dover police announcing the arrest of 20 year old Destry Jones and 18 year old Damian Hintz. Did you hear about this in Philly? Um, in y'all area? No, what the fuck? Yeah, HBCU chick got murdered, man. I'm surprised it hasn't been a bigger story. I'm shocked, man. Then, both of Dover in connection with the shooting on Delaware State University's campus that claimed the life of De Silva. I know still is a long process to go, but it, it, it's a little better feeling that some that they've captured someone to pay for what happened to Kame. Investigators say in the overnight hours on April 21st, Hinton and Jones got in a physical fight on campus with two other males, a 20 and 21 year old. The scuffle ended and shots rang out. One of those bullets striking De Silva, who was not involved in the altercation or the intended target and was just visiting the campus. Guns are being used as a problem. So Think about it. You, she's visiting. Your loved one is visiting a college campus. And she gets murdered by these two monkeys, man. The, and they didn't mean to murder her on a college campus that she's visiting that's the safest thing where you going tonight oh, i'm going to see my girl at, at, at delaware state like as a parent or a loved one you're not thinking that that person is going to fucking get shot by some people that weren't intending to shoot her yeah you would never think that striking de silva who was not involved in the altercation or the intended target and was just visiting the campus. Guns are being used as a problem solving tool in too many places in America. It has to stop. On May 2nd, police arrested Jones at an apartment complex in Brooklyn, New York, and Henson in the parking lot of a shopping center in Dover. Both non students. So the white man's apparatus went and found one of them in Brooklyn and one of them in Dover. Hmm. And and there's no thought of that. Like with all this racism talk, there's no thought. Like that's completely taken for granted. Yep. These dudes had to be hunted. These are dangerous guys that had to be tracked down and hunted down all over in needle in the haystack. And they were found relatively quickly. This happened the 21st. Relatively quick in under a month. They were tracked down. Students at Delaware State University faced a slew of charges, including murder and attempted murder of the two other people they were fighting with, who are also non affiliated with the school. I hope you so you got four people non affiliated with the school fighting on the school campus. This is HBCU, Delaware State's HBCU. You got four people fighting on the campus and none of them are affiliated with the school. And they kill another girl who's not affiliated with the school. <laughs> Yo, that's insane, man. That's only at HBCU, man. Bro. I got family members that started HBCUs uh, last semester, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. They're yeah. the most dangerous colleges. I mean, uh, the, the the odds of like an individual getting harmed is very low, but they're the most dangerous colleges. And are in Dover, both non-students at Delaware State University face a slew of charges, including murder and attempted murder of the two other people they were fighting with, who are also non-affiliated with the school. I hope you can live with what you did. And that guilt eats you up. Good. Because you took my baby girl from me. 
As police continue to investigate, including the other two involved in the original scuffle, Delaware State University, the school De Silva was visiting and planning to transfer to, will be making sure her legacy and name doesn't go in vain. I know she would have been an exceptional, exceptional student. We continue to pray for you and your family. Why is he sweating like that? And we will take an important moment yeah. to honor yeah. Kame during this year's commencement ceremony. Now, university officials say as the academic year comes to a close and graduation is quickly approaching, they will have additional security on campus. 